Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am talking about Coromon. I'm actually playing the Coromon demo, so let's get started. Alright, this is the first time I'm really, not really, it's the first time I am playing it. I got this far and then I thought, you know, I'm going to stop, I'm going to make a video about it. That's as far as I got. So I pressed English, got here, bam. So, click to continue. New game. I already like the aesthetic. Would you like to try out the quick demo battle? Yeah. Oh, the battle music ain't bad. Hopefully it's not too loud for y'all, but... Oh, yeah. My God, this is... Run Give me some, like... There's not enough trumpets, but... Gen 3 Pokemon. Okay, so keyboard controls. So control is weather button. Okay. Quick press action. Fight button. One through nine quick press button. Ups rest. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. So, uh, Slither Pin and Aurora versus a Pitterbot. I like these. The animation looks good so far. Look at the streams. It's like it, the, the background's even moving. It looks really good. Okay, let's see. So, Spaces to Fight. See, this is one. Pulls up items, which is HP Cake. Okay, so it's W A E S D. Joint, ten. Or cure, burn, all that. Then we got spinner, a device for catching Coromon. Device for catching Coromon, more effective than a spinner. It's much like a great ball. And they have elemental spinners. I like the idea of elemental uh, capture devices. Kind of reminds me of. Into the apricots and stuff like that. Anyways, that's what we got right now. That's fine. I just kind of want to get out. I'm going to be honest. There we go. Escape. And three would be run. But space is fight. What do any of... I wanted to see what they did. Oh. Send a flying punch. Knocked down, recovering, unable to move. Oh, man. That's a really cool mechanic. Let's see if I can do that to see. Nope. Really wish they would let me see. Feelers. Hmm. Oh, crap. Hmm. I'm going to do three. Poison Chomp. Oh, it's very effective. Face Slap. That gum. I know I'm not talking much, but I'm trying to take... <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of just taking this all in. Oh, I, I love that animation just then. I'm kind of just taking this all in right now. Um, kind of feeling it like you are, you know, first time, you know, so let's get acquainted with the controls. See if I can. Okay, so click on it. Hmm. Types ice. Okay. So, number two. Rarity rare. I like the rarity thing. Spinners regular. Okay, what's these do? Please tell me what they do. Awesome. Click on it. So, Frost Chomp. So, let's get into some of the moves. You know, trying to figure this out. Never had any of the controls, so excuse the silence. Excuse me figuring this all out. It's new to me, and it some of it's pretty freaking impressive. So, Chomp the Target with Icy Teeth has a 10% chance to freeze with a 40 power. Um, this 
uh, the user makes its body static for five turns. Attackers get shock. Splash the target, dealing damage equal to the target's level. Always goes first. Ooh, glacier. A massive glacier crashes into the opposing team, dealing damage. Has a 25% chance. It says a 10. Double chance. Double the attack. Yeah, double the attack. Same accuracy. It's special instead of physical. Thing is, it uses um, six SP instead of three. Okay. Press escape to get out. Apparently, and we can look at. So that's what that was about. Huh. Well, since it's a short battle, I am just going to go full in, and look at the bottom right. I think it should show at some point. SP. Oh, oh, okay. Andrew seventy four. Ooh, very nice. Waken some of its potential. The heck. Okay. Oh. What the heck? So we get to put stats. See, I don't know if they have IVs, but this is obviously EVs pretty much, right? So HP, attack, special attack. I love that. Nexomon, um, you know, only has like the first, as if it was first gen Pokemon. Um, only a special, right? So... SP, speed, defense, special defense. I freaking... This is... F There's nothing... I, it's awesome. Obviously, I do have words to express, but they're hard to find. Dang. I don't know. Why not dump something? Yeah, confirm it. Why not? It's a demo. Uh, well, test... Hold on. I assume it would be a little bit better, a little bit more polished. Let's get into the lore. Got a book in the folder. Nope. Oh. An abrasive mother. Time to get up, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Okay, I gotta figure out what's the yes, no. Okay. You can't sleep in today. It's your first day of work at Lux Solus. Quest started. Prologue. Why don't you put on something nice? You make a good impression. Don't go falling back to sleep now. Okay. Cause so you can customize your character. Hmm. Eh. Nah. Out of those, yes. Darker brown, yes. No hat. That's it. That's it. I don't know. Um, here. Why not? All right, save. Let's get into it. Okay. Again, I've been silent. I know, but I've been kind of getting used to this. It's freaking awesome. So you move around with that interact run. Uh, one through nine. Quick answer. Pause. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. This is mom's room. Better not go in. Okay. Whoop. Sorry about that. That just means that connection for a second. Suck. I am streaming actually from another computer. Their computer super loud. But doing that allows me not to drop as many frames with OBS. So, good morning. Oh, I'm actually freaking speaking. Oh. Uh, good morning, Retro Games HQ. You're looking sharp. You must be so excited. You're finally becoming a Lux Solus field researcher. To celebrate, why don't you we uh, why don't we go to your favorite breakfast place before heading to the station? That sounds great. So I'm not a mute. This is awesome. Come on. 
I guess, I guess the little bro's just staying at home. The woman's letting the game raise her son. A delicious breakfast later. Ooh. Oh my god. I like the details in this. Just about everything's. So here we are, Retro Games. At the starting line of your own adventure. You're not my little Retro Games anymore. Look at you, all grown up and choosing your own path in life. I'm a little sad to see you go. And I'm also very proud of you. I know you're ready for this. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working for Lux Solus. Today, that day will finally come true. That's why I got you a little something. I held down space. I'm sorry, guys. Thanks, Mom. That's very sweet. I'll make good use of it. Glad to hear that, honey. Look, I can see the train approaching. You have everything you need. Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear. Because that's really important. Don't worry, Mom. I'm old enough to take care of myself. Oh, the train's about to depart. You better go on before it leaves without you. But first, a big hug. Should have done a hug before the train got there. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. Womp womp. Womp womp. Alright. About the son that you were like, you don't need breakfast. Sometime later, the train arrives at the Lux Solus campus. Oh my god. This game is just... It's pretty impressive. There's nothing else to say about it. It's pretty impressive. Why even like the little thing? <laughs> what the heck? Come on, throw the needle. Oh. Hello, new trainer. Would you come over here for a minute? Word your chem and Marcel. 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 Sorry, um. Yeah. This is the developers of Coromon. Thank you for. Uh, thank you so much for trying out. Oh, it might be Marcel. Marcel. Anyways. Uh, thank you so much for trying out our demo. We hope you enjoy it. There are some things you should know about it. Please keep in mind that this game's not in its final state. We are constantly improving the game and adding new features. For this demo, that means uh, this means that your Coromon will only be able to grow to level 25. Your Coromon and quest progress will be transferred to the full game if you keep your save file. There could be still there could still be some parts of the game unfinished. So if you find anything unexpected, please let us know so we can fix it. Any feedback is appreciated, both positive and negative. If you like the game, please add it to your Steam wish list. I've already done that. Well, that's all we had to say. Have fun and shine bright. I kind of. I've got a suggestion. Uh, so let's talk to this dude. At Lux Solus, we offer trainers the opportunity to customize their experience. Most trainers pick the normal difficulty, but selecting a higher difficulty could be worth the challenge. I ain't no plebeian, so. Of course. You tell me that. Oh, switch panels, primary button. Secondary action button. Hold on, guys. I'm looking. Okay, so there's a streamer tip. Slave, save slot ID. Redeem code. Okay. Screenshot mode. Got configure gamepad. Keyboard only. Battle controls, world controls, menu controls, ask for summary, ask for nickname, easy battles, easy battles info. So let's see what easy battles is. Enabling the easy battle setting gives you the choice to switch out a different squad member when the opponent's Coromon faints. I'm going to class Pokemon, but I won't. Show stylized spinners. Yes. For now, right now, yes, until I get used to it. Scale, four times, full screen. Um, hold pause to uh, hold pause to there's no select always run text speed language sound music okay so escape how do I choose my difficult thing setting this looks difficult 
Floating gold. How does this even work? Probably magnetism, buddy. Motivation and monk. My god, you can can you interact with everything? Man, that felt like it for a second. Hello and welcome to Lux Solus. How may I assist you? Hello, my name is Retro Games HQ. It's my first day here. A new colleague? Hello. In that case, welcome to our wonderful organization, Retro Games HQ. Thank you. Please give me one moment while I check your registration. Uh huh. I see. It looks like we still need to know your preferred difficulty. With this, we can personalize your adventure. Most trainers use di a normal difficulty, which I would recommend for a regular experience. But take this handbook and read it well. It explains the differences of each difficulty in detail. So let's get into it. Okay, I'll read it carefully. All right, let's see what the differences is. So difficulty, trainers looking for a challenge may consider using a difficulty other than normal difficulty. But what exactly does that entail? This book will explain all the rules for the different difficulties. If you still can't decide after reading this book, it is recommended that you choose the normal difficulty. So easy. This difficulty is for trainers who take it easy. Coromond will fully restore their HP when they level up. No more backtracking. Oh, that really is easy. Shopping items are 50% cheaper, so you can stock up on those healing items. When one of those Coromond faints, you don't need to use a special revive item. Instead, you can feed it one healing coke. I mean, if it's a little kid, maybe, but that kind of takes away the fun also if you're a little kid. I mean, normal. No extra difficulties are, I mean, no extra rules are applied. Hard. This difficulty is for trainers who want a challenge. If one of your Pokemon faint or Coromon faints, it will leave your squad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Heading the call, heeding the call of the wild, it returns to its habitat. You can't escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. It turns it into a Nuzlocke. Insane. The most challenging difficulty. I don't see how it could get harder. In addition to the rules of the hard difficulty, these rules also apply. So you have, you can't escape, and if it, it run, you know, if you, uh, if it faints, it runs. You can't use recall items, forcing you to travel through Coromon habitats. You may only catch one Coromon in each area using the Luxler. If it faints, you are out of luck. So you're free to capture any perfect Coromon. So that seems, at that point, Nuzlocke, you may only catch one Coromon in each area using the Luxlor. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I have the mind to do insane. And at some point, I'll just do like hard. Because I want to catch all the Coromon out there. I want to catch all the Coromon out there. But this, insane. Alright, let's get through this. My god. Alright. All right. Whew. Let's do this. All right. But I can't make these changes myself. By myself. So I've contacted our difficulty engineer to assist in me uh, assist me in setting up your experience. There he is already. Hello there. So you've decided a challenging experience. How exciting. I'm the engineer that will keep track of your difficulty experience and gain progress. I want to inform you Sorry. That once you uh, once one of your Coromon faints, it will leave your squad until you lower your difficulty to either easy or normal. You can reload your uh, you could reload your save game, of course, to get the Coromon back. But then we will flag your save game as impure. The only consequence of this is that certain future achievements can no longer be earned. I'm sorry about the thing again. It's a uh, if I do this, then um. I don't have FPS drops. One second. Okay. 
I'll be cutting that out, definitely. Okay, sorry about that cut. Had to make sure of something. Okay, here you will need my invent. Uh, here you will need my invention on insane. I've named it the Lux Lure. You're not allowed to catch any wild Pokemon other than perfect coral. You're not allowed to catch any wild Pokemon Coralmon other than perfect Coralmon. Instead, you will need to use that Lux Lure to trigger an encounter with a wild Coralmon you may catch. You can do this once per area. The whistle is linked to your gauntlet in your personal Coromon storage, and it will adjust its sound frequency so that it lures Coromon species which you do not have. The lure effect is loud enough to be heard throughout the entire area you're in, so it doesn't matter where you use the Luxlure. All Coromon species in the area will hear it. Be careful though. If the Coromon you encounter faints, you're out of luck. But I'm sure you can handle that. A challenge would be uh, a challenge should be a challenge, right? Yep. I agree. Yep. <laughs> Good. You should change. Uh, should you change your mind about the difficulty, you can let me know via the computer you just used, and I'll change it for you. I'll go and make the necessary adjustments now. Good luck. You'll need it. Thank you. Before we continue, could you tell me if you've followed a Lux Solus trainer course before? I'm just gonna say no. I'm just going to say no. Thank you. Since you will be working as a field researcher, you will require a gauntlet to carry Coromon with you. We have several color variations from which you can choose. One moment, please. We have the standard blue variant. A colorful green variant. And a maverick red variant. You can choose the one you like the most. Yes. I'm just saying no. All right. Awesome that they give you that option. Good choice. That one goes well with your eyes. Okay. For additional gauntlet configuration, please report to Larry in the R&D lab. Uh, that's the first building you'll encounter. Have fun and shine bright. All right. Let's get out of here and see what's around. Be taking a few detours here and there, of course. I do want to see what's around. Oh, I like the music as I listen. Hmm? You want some advice for a new trainer? Well, I almost forgot where I had to go for my quest. But then I remembered I could check my logbook in the menu to see where I had to go. Remember that if you get lost. get used to the Donald. The gauntlet is a powerful tool. It can be upgraded with any amount of modules to satisfy all your needs. I wonder if they take inspiration from um, Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XT. You know, with the Snatch, Snagum machine or whatever. Um, Lisa, work, work, work. Gotta work. No time for break. Okay. Ooh, oh, must be. What's his face? Loser. Larry, you must be the new field researcher, Retro Games HQ. Uh, yes, I am. Who are you? Ah, I knew it. My instinct never fails me. My name's Larry, and I will tell you all about the magical world of the gauntlet. This way, please. Almost there. Here we are in the gauntlet module test area. The gauntlet on your arm, there is a technological masterpiece. Besides carrying your Coromon in it, it can do so much more. It's a multi-tool for Lux Solus employees. The gauntlet's modular design enables the user to install new functionality on the go thanks to modules. Let me show you one of the, uh, rather, some of the research we're working on. My colleague Velma here is collaborating the push module. She's optimizing the module to get the power output at 100% capacity. Looks cool, huh? Retro games? Keep it up, Velma. And Percy over there is developing a brand new module on his own. Let's say hi. 
Percy, my man, can you explain what you're working on for our new colleague? Ah, oh, you're interested in my project? It's quite easy. Y you see, I combine a spark plug together with a flammable gas to create a combustion that's... Hold up, that's way too technical. Why don't you just demonstrate instead? Gladly. Please stand back. <clears throat> Careful there, you paramaniac. Sorry, I got carried away. It's okay, no one got hurt this time. Thank you, Percy. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There are lots of useful modules available. And we're consistently developing new ones. We'll be providing you with a module as well, of course. But that's all the way uh, all the way on the other side of the lab. And I'm done talking or walking for today. Here, take this Lux Recall RC. This device enables us Lux Solus supervisors to efficiently guide new colleagues through their training. And it saves me the hassle of walking everywhere. Hold on just Hold on to something. I'm activating your uh, Lux Recall RC right now. Oh. Here we are. Much better than walking, right? And a lot faster. Do you see Casey on the other side of this grass patch? Uh, she has a module ready for your installation. Hello there. The module we give to all new re field researchers is the Stink module. Don't mind the name too much. You'll love what it does. Let's stimulate... Let's simulate a situation where we can show just how useful the stink, stink module is. Can be, God, my God, I butchered everything about that since. For a realistic scenario, you will need a Coromon with low HP. Uh, here, take a few of these spinners. You got six of them. I've paired the patch of grass by filling it with one and only Luxolus mascot, Patterbit. All of them have the low HP lowered. This makes it much Easier to catch wild Pokemon, Coromon. Just walk through the grass a bit, and a patter bit will surely notice you. When that happens, use a spinner to capture it. All right, here I go. Hey, I don't even get to walk. I'm not walking. All right, so items. Use through a spinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I like that. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, there's another suggestion. How about a cancel button? I said no. Would you like to check my uh, pattern bit in the Coromon summary? Yes, I would. HP 21, attack 11, special attack 15, speed 9, defense 13, special defense. So heavy special attack, special defense. Um, type normal, uncommon rarity. The attacker slams its body against the its target at full force. 40 power. Physical. SP2. SP4. Find the weak spot in your opponent. Next attack does 2.5. Okay. Okay. Please just... Well done. Now, hang on one second. There. I reset the pattern bit so that they're back at full HP. Now... How will you ever get back without endangering your Coromon? Don't worry. That's where the stink module comes in. Casey, would you install the module, please? Of course. Here you go, Retro Games. Stink module installed. Let me explain how the stink module works. First, you need to stand in a patch of grass. Only then can you activate the stink module. Go ahead. When you activate the module, you will release a terrible stench that will cause all Coromon in that grass patch to run off. You won't encounter any more Coromon in that grass patch. Go ahead, hold your nose and activate the stink module to return safely to Larry. So that's a one. One second. Hmm. 
Sorry, I am doing something. Yes, I am trying to figure out what the secondary button is. Okay, shift, I guess. Yes, shift. Okay. You see, the grass patch is completely void of Coromon, and in just five minutes, the module is recharged and ready to be used. Useful, isn't it? Okay, no, I'll have to adjust the settings. This is. It sure is. You should have seen Percy's face when I woke him up with a stink module yesterday. Yes, uh, anyway, in this lab we're constantly developing new modules which will be a big help during your adventure. A number of these modules are almost ready to use. Keep an eye out on your phone because I'll send you a message once they're good to go. And then you can drop by to pick them up. I can't wait. Speaking of adventures, first let me restore your powder bit back to full HP. There you go, all set, but you wouldn't make it far with just one Coralmon in your squad. Drop by Nelson in the Coromon lab, and he will provide you with an Earth Coromon to start out. Shine bright. Let's talk to some people. Please don't disturb me. I'm trying to concentrate. Hmm. Wild Coromon live in grass, in water, and in caves. Be sure to have enough spinners if you want to catch them. The person making our spinners, Perrin, is running low on supplies. That's why I'm out here... Trying to make more durable supplies for, or get more durable supplies, I guess. An icy spinner has an internal climate control. This causes wild ice cormorants to be more inclined to stay inside. There's a drawing of six glowing orbs. Ooh, let's see what else we can read. Hmm, yes. I know some of these words. Ah, must be a research paper, some notes, technical stuff. Let's keep going. What's this woman? Man, this will be my best invention ever. We design new modules for trainers to make their work easier. For example, with the push module, trainers can travel to otherwise hard to reach areas. This can lead to new Coromon discoveries. Ding dong. Access denied. I'm working on a new module, and I can already tell you it's on fire. Well, can someone tell me who to go to? Because that'd be great. The Gauntlet's powerful tool can be upgraded with any amount of modules to satisfy all your needs. Work, work, work. Got work. No time for break. Okay, one uno momento, or rather, un momento. Well, corn my living grass and water and caves. Be sure to have enough spares if you want to catch some. Ah, Cormon lab next door. Hmm, is that what? So, items, gauntlet, black hoodie. Spinner, Gone, Luxor. I do wonder. Probably not. But. Use hotkeys. Oh. That sucks. Oh, well. Escape, escape. Alright. <laughs> I think I'm going to make another episode of this. I'm going to do more of this demo in the next episode. So, that's all for this episode. Make sure you subscribe and check out the next episode if you're interested in seeing more of the Cormon demo. I mean, this is extremely impressive. It's just a demo, but it's very, very, very impressive. So that's all I've got for you today. Like I said, make sure you subscribe and watch episode two, which will be coming out soon. 
keep, well, I'll see you in the next video, and retro on.